video basically, a live stream for the first time. And sorry if it's a little bit off the cuff, off the cuff, but my first time doing this, I usually have a few takes, I'd say a few, maybe about 100 takes before I get it right. So as you can see behind me, we've got the camper. And we're in Hastings at the moment. Let's turn the camera around if I can. There we go. Lovely Hastings, we always return back here. Our third time in the camper, but to keep this video short and sweet, I'll just um, I'll just keep it short. I won't go into detail because that will be for videos to come. As you can see the new minibus, well, newly sprayed minibus, sprayed in Raptor paint. You can see the texture. Need to clean. Tinted windows. That's what it looks like from the back. Tow bar for our trailer. And the same there. So this is a side door version so it hasn't got a sliding door as such let's close that up i mean we've got the key to the back door that was good planning anyway let's go back in and welcome to our minibus there we go got our electric scooter ready to rock and roll later that's a new addition. Now I'm hoping that the quality is decent for you guys. Just um, I can't help our network. Um, 4G at the moment, and it's like we're at the top of Hastings Hill. Let's have a look through the window, see what we could spot. I think we'll be heading down that direction there um, on our scooter. Last time we came about the scooter, we were. It, it took us a good 40 minutes to walk, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't it? But with our scooter, we gave it a little test run. We were down there in about two minutes. Really fast. Yeah. Anyway, shall we crack on with the minibus tour? Okay, so we got the driver's seat. Obviously, we need to carry people around in the minibus. Um, so what we have here is side benches. And it's the only way we could design this minibus um, to make it work. Obviously, it's a four sleeper, two bunk beds, and this turns into a double bed. So it had to be side mounted seats. So if you jump down, Bertie. You could open that. Yeah, so obviously, we've got our little pillows there. If you lift it up for us, there we go. Turn the seat belts, poke through there, they're bolted to the metal work. We've got our sofa, we've got our pillows, and the extra bits of wood that connect up to make our double bed. Over here we've got our, our yeah our diesel heater. Again, I'll go into more detail another day. Drop it down. Um, just because I want to keep this one short. And there we go. We've got the same bench on this side. Seat belts haven't been poked through there just because we don't need an extra seat belt. If Bertie's lifting it up for you, you can see our batteries down there. Two big 110 AH batteries. A 2000 watt inverter and a smaller inverter, two small inverters there, 150 watts and a 300 watt, just so I could pick and choose what what voltage I need, um, what power I need. You can drop that down. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I do break it. So, yeah, so we've got 240 power in here. Sorry if I'm not doing this in any particular order. But we've got 240 power, we've got one plug here, we've also got 12 volt power from our batteries. But our batteries also turn the power into uh, 240 volt, obviously, through the inverters. This is why we've got power here. Let me close this up. And it goes into the inverter. What else? We've got a plug here as well, which I haven't put a cap on. So that'll power any of the appliances for our kitchen. This TV is 12 volts, so we don't need power for that. And in our bunk beds section, we've got power again. If we ever need to charge or power our laptops, whatever. We've got a voltage meter for our battery in the middle. 12.3 volts it's, it's reading, which is pretty decent. And again, USB is charging our phones. This panel here is our heater display. So the heater that you saw in here... It's a diesel heater and we control it with this and it's brilliant. Literally the best thing I've bought for this mini bus for a long time. 
Um, about the minibus, right, so the minibus was an old variety bus, blue disabled, yeah. uh, for disabled yeah, people, you know, one of those mini buses. Yeah, and, and it used to have a, a paint underneath, yeah. but we uh, paint it over the door. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, exactly. So it was light blue and we've um, converted it. So we've taken all the seats out, took the wheelchair lift off. Um, what else? We sanded it down and then our good friend Colin helped us respray. So that was two years ago and it took um, about six months or so to revamp, me and Sean mainly, um, to get it to this stage for all the creature comforts. So we insulated the floor first with 25mm uh, Celotex, battened it out, then filled in between the battens, laid 12mm ply and then put these tiles down. That little hole there is for a table. Mm -hmm. So we've got a table that clicks in and clicks out, but we haven't taken that with us. So if we have four people here, we can have a table that sits there. Yeah, what, is there what else is there to but, show? But we can't sit down properly because it's quite hard when we have it. And Yep, no, well, that's just because the table's quite big. That's when we got a family of four. So we don't need that today, do we? No, because we just see that as well. So what Bertie does is just we've got this little booster seat here that just sits there when we're travelling and we strap him in and he watches TV on the journeys. Well, so we got, we've got these units um, which we built just for extra storage. Um, at the top let's let's take you through a few all 12 mil by the way in this soft close hinges and they seem to be all right i think i might put struts on them because when i'm when i'm getting something else out like plates and stuff like that i need to rest the hatch on my head so i could get two hands on it yeah you're too small to get into here so we've got saucepan and kettle lives in there as well plates cutlery we've got a tv that clips up um, like I said, this is no particular order. Um, I usually have time to plan. Um, all right, let's see when as I'm here, let's talk about the heating, um, the hot water, shall I say. So the way we've done this is we've got like a little outdoor boiler and these boilers need to be vented. So what we've done is if we open that up, I put, put a flexible hose on the top and I simply turn this, clip it in, to there, close this up and that is my vent I can then turn the gas on which the gas is in there a color gas that gas is connected to the boiler when I turn a tap on um, or I turn my shower on which is in here um, it turns the boiler on because the boiler senses water flow and then you just do, do all the settings properly and it tells you how hot it wants you want it basically can just change the gas flow or the water flow or anything like that to get your desired temperature and it's brilliant so I can do washing up with hot water just by pulling this handle off and washing up in the sink with hot water or I can have a shower obviously let's click that back in where is it there we go and usually the order work is most most of the time the videos are in the workshop mm -hmm. but we're on holiday because i have no school yep. till tuesday yeah because it's a holiday for us to uh, bank holiday so we're here yeah, today Monday. and we're a bit busy we can't make a video so we're doing this one instead okay so that's how we get the hot water for washing up if we need it and the showers we also have this plumbed in so that is coming from the tanks. I've got a 100 litre tank or 250 litre tank, something along those lines for fresh water and a 50 litre tank for the waste underneath the van and at the back. Um, shower of the floor is the actual shower tray itself and to stop the porta potty um, moving around we just got like a little rubber tile that stops it sliding around when we're driving. This is basically our little wardrobe that we've got. One thing I would change in here if I could is have a wardrobe inside and uh, mainly because storage is a bit of an issue in here as you can see when it's only two of us we use a bed for our storage but what I'll do in a minute is go around the back and show you the wardrobe through the back doors. Uh, right, 
kitchen unit here we got our fridge sorry about the mess it's uh all over the place today and that's plugged in and that gets plugged in via our inverter i didn't really bother getting a 12 volt um fridge or anything like that just because they're too expensive so that just gets run off my inverter we turn it on and we've got ice packs in the freezer itself and around so so i'm not draining the batteries all the time i have that on for an hour or two every day the ice gets cold or frozen the water packs get frozen then also then it acts like a cool off at the time that it's off so that's the way i do that my cooking is done through two of these little stoves just because i wanted the worktop space and they just run off these little gas canisters um, over there which are these little camping gas canisters just in this little section well yeah you probably see those before well so i got a little another unit over there i wanted to keep it free i could have had more units running across but this light was in the way and the way that Bertie jumps up onto the top bunk when he sleeps up there is he jumps on this yeah, and then he jumps on. Like yeah. Good demonstration, but you didn't do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> didn't get all the way up. Yeah, I did. There you go. But now I'm doing can't. No one can really sit up there. We planned this one so someone can sit up in it. Um, so even me or anyone tall can sit on the back and rest up against there, read a book, go on your computer, whatever you want to do. Um, but the top, it is what it was because I've only got, I only had like 1.9, I think, to start with. I had to take away 60 mil for the floor. I had to had a mattress to put down. I had a wheel arch. Um, then I have to obviously take into account the thickness of the supports and the mattress itself and that just left that remaining so it what that what it was what it was um anything else to talk about the, and the water yeah when you're finished it, it re drains under to minibus to get in under it, it? think about what you said what do you mean it goes into the tank below yeah, yeah it goes into the tank below yeah and then, mm -hmm. and then it uh, comes out yeah well we store it in the tank don't we yeah. Uh, so we've got this little mirror door so let me let me close it at the moment we've just got it locked um, typical I can't get to lock when it when we're driving there we go you'll be able to see me now through the mirror there we go we close it up and it makes the place look even bigger when the with the mirror Pretend to go to the toilet and close the door then, Bert. Go on. Go in, there we go. Do a number, go and do a number two. <laughs> there we go, and it's got a lock. So this little, you know, these keys here, these type of keys, it's drilled all the way through, so we just pull the key out, lock it either from the outside or lock it from the inside. There's a hole there to get it. Yeah, you can jump out now. Um, 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 yeah, Bef when, once we've done the minibus, um, once we finished the interior, we got someone in to tint our windows and he was really angry, not angry with us, but he was a bit annoyed that he didn't get to do the tints first because he had to wrap it around the corners with our units in place, but done a really good job. I think it's called global tinting. I do re recommend them and it does a massive job for us. It does a brilliant job. It, it keeps it nice and cool in the just keeps it nice and cool let me close this up or open it up should i say you can't see my reflection it just keeps it nice and cool in here it keeps it dark also we can be here right here because it's limo black somebody can walk it across and no one can see absolutely anything inside should i show you but you stand there yeah, and wave, start waving. So, okay, so Bert is waving. Yeah. Let's see if we can see him. Can you see him? No, brilliant. Yeah. Another uh, thing I'd recommend tinting if you were going to do a camper van conversion. Yeah, but when we were trying to paint, we forgot to do the inside. Then. It just keeps it, it just keeps it nice and uh, private. Even though it stops the light coming in a little bit, 
it's really private. I don't need to have the blinds down during the day. I could park up in the middle of the street and no one can see in. We also got these side windows tinted the, ma the maximum that we could to be legal. I don't know, 20% tint. don't know what it was. Obviously couldn't do the front windscreen. We haven't done anything with the front, to be honest. We left it as is. Left the rubber floor that it was and we just sort of worked our floor around that and finished the flooring off with an angle bead, um, galvanised angle bead. What else is there to say? All right, let's quickly show you this wardrobe at the back. I was going to show you earlier, but it was locked for some reason. The central locking doesn't seem to unlock the back at the moment. Got the wheels done, so they were powder coated. And the spray finish that you see at the moment is called Raptor. It was a bit of a bad state. Oh, look, Bertie, you can see the colour. It's a good... Yeah, you can see the colour that it was. You've probably seen these mini buses around. And it says variety bus on it. So that was the colour. Really faded. Bright. Getting a phone call. Rust in places. A few dents here and there and we sorted it, sorted it out. So this will be the last thing I'm going to show you. The wardrobe at the back and show you the, show you the um, shelving and show you the tank so that was what we've got at the back and it was meant to be all adjustable and it still can be but they kept on making noise so we just put a couple of screws they're still adjustable on pegs but i put a screw for each shelf so they don't move and they're made to fit all these little ikea boxes there we go so our umbrellas and our tents and fold up bits can go in that section and this backing of our wardrobe is actually our back of our shower and the back of our bunk bed. So this was the first thing we actually did, mm -hmm. wasn't it? The first thing we actually did was built this wardrobe in, literally the first thing before we did anything else. Mm -hmm. And then from that on point on, it gave us a nice fixed point, a nice level point to work off on, on the rest of it. So this is one of our tanks. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm reading some of the comments as well, but I can't multitask. You know what men are like. Um, otherwise, I would. Um, so that's one of the tanks. Let's look underneath. We painted a couple of other tanks. We got one painted in black gloss. Um, there's another one right behind that. Um, I can't really show you much more, but there's I think there's a hundred liters of fresh water tanks. And this is just the transmitter for our reversing camera. See there. And our trailer. Trailer. So we got a little bike rack. So I put my Honda C90 on that. That carries 120 kilos without any wheels. Also, you know, coming off these. It's basically a tray. And, and then we got the ball as well. Um, that obviously that's the standard trailer ball. Um, so there you go. Didn't do much looking after the actual inside of the doors to be honest didn't have the time but that'll be for a job in the future so let's finish it off of there i'm gonna lock that later oh, there we go can do it now one thing i would say is if i was to do this again i'd probably pick a newer van possibly even though this is a beast a three liter gets up any hill it's got twin wheels so it's nice and solid doesn't rock um, I would still get something a little bit newer with a side door possibly a side sliding door like a VW crafter so I think you'd be able to do a slightly different layout have my bed in a different position uh, no, that's not a petrol tank that's a magnet, a magnet? yeah magnet. all right so what else was I gonna say well we're going to go for a scoop in a minute. There was one other thing. Ah, wanted to talk about the bed. Mm -hmm. We're not going to show you that just now. We can maybe do that as another video. But you saw the components. Yeah. You can see the components. We've got four pillows there and four pieces of birch ply. 18 or 25. Can't remember. 18 mil. That go into these slots here. Can you see the slots? And that was planned. Yeah. So the little yeah. tongues poking there yeah we've got leds there as well um so that will be a video quickly flick that on bertie 
Flip that switch. Bertie here. Flip that switch. There we go. And there's another one on this side. Yeah, so basically in that gap is where the bed will go. So that's another thing I want to show you, but we won't have enough time to to do that just now. And I've been going on for a lot of time. I've been going on boring you lot for a while now, rambling on. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Been a little bit off the cuff, not my usual. Usually make about 100 gigs worth of videos and then edit them for hours because I've done about 50,000 takes. But not this time, hopefully guys will enjoy this and i'll be able to show you a lot more in real time so shall we say bye yeah and um you never know we might put another video up on our journeys maybe scooting around yes. depends how it goes we could do a video of the scooter yeah a little electric scooter i go in the front and you go in the back mm -hmm. i'm squash i have to put my hat on okay there. yeah so let's say goodbye now okay bye. take it easy everyone let me turn the camera around Thanks for watching our video and we'll see you soon, okay? Yep. Bye. Bye.